Welcome back everyone and good December evening. We're heading further into the month. Winter is approaching next few days actually and it's going to certainly start feeling that way, especially as we head into the middle of next week. Take a look at our top headlines for this forecast. Cold and clear for tonight. The cloud cover we've been seeing the last few days finally exiting the region as are the winds, so some good news right there, but that will lead to some very cold temperatures overnight. A little bit warmer on Sunday, upper 30s and lower 40s, but then things start to get a little bit more interesting. Rain snow mix likely on Monday. We've bumped up our percentages just a little bit and we've added some snowfall totals. We'll talk about that in a second, but this one right here I really want to talk about. Dangerous wind chills are on the way. We're starting to see a little bit more aggressive messaging from our partners and resources and tools, and that's coming on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday with a strong Arctic front. So I'll break that down outside our uh, satellite and radar. We're watching those mostly clear skies right now. Again, the wind is backing off just a little bit outside our Junction City camera. Night is well underway now. We're at least the evening hours and those temperatures currently sitting right at freezing here in northeast Kansas. Winds out of the west six miles an hour. The temperature is feeling much cooler than that, though. 26 here in Topeka, 24 in Emporia. Only feels like 15 in Hiawatha. Wind chills will be the name of the game moving forward. Uh, we're going to be talking about those quite a bit. Average high for this time of year, 43 degrees. Today, well, 37. So another day below average. And we're not going to be above average really for quite some time. Maybe tomorrow afternoon, but even then, I don't think we're going to get there. So let's talk about it. Uh, waking up in the morning, lower 20s across the I-70 corridor. Up north could be seeing some upper teens. Again, very typical cold start to our December Sunday and then by tomorrow afternoon. This is really the only chance we have to get above average for the next week or so. Maybe some lower 40s out there, but more realistic upper 30s once again for a good portion of the viewing area. The only good news is wind speeds are starting to calm down five, maybe 10 miles an hour. Overnight things really look a lot better for us. Light southerly breeze moves in tomorrow afternoon. That'll help us warm into the lower 40s but then we have to jump forward just a little bit. That Arctic front is on the way and it's one of the stronger ones I've seen in quite some time. Future wind chill on Tuesday morning. This model is pushing colder air in even a little bit sooner, but we're talking negative 10, maybe even colder up north near Seneca, Holton, Hiawatha. Of course, it's still a good three, four days out, so take this with a grain of salt, but these wind chills just don't get much better. Tuesday afternoon, it's going to feel like zero or maybe single digits for the majority of the day. And then on to Wednesday morning, more negative wind chills in the area. And right now, recent model projections are putting it even colder than that. So as we get closer, we'll know more. But before we get there, let's break down our snow chances. Sunday is looking great. We're going to be watching mostly sunny skies, cloud cover towards the second half of the day. Monday morning, rain snow mix moves in from the south. Pretty much a good majority of our Monday morning could be seeing some snow showers, lingers through the dinner time, and then the snow pushes off by Tuesday morning. Tuesday, we see a brief break from the precipitation, and then that Arctic front arrives Wednesday afternoon, bringing the possibility of more snow to the area, lasting through lunchtime on Wednesday, on into Thursday morning, and then exiting the region by Friday morning. So a bit more active weather in the forecast for us. A dusting to two inches, not a whole lot of variance across the viewing area. I think everyone has at least a slight chance to see some light accumulations. The wind chills tonight though, it's going to be another cold one down into the middle to upper teens tomorrow morning. And then our forecast for the week, we're gonna spend just a second on this one here. We got 41 tomorrow optimistically, rain snow mix on Monday, 70% right now. 24 on Tuesday and then that front arrives Wednesday and Thursday. Dangerous wind chills in the area. We do want to start getting that message out, Jake, because those are some single digit temperatures out there mm -hmm. and some overnight lows in the negatives. Yeah, three degrees. That does not sound fun, right? And those that's the high for the day. Would you like to volunteer to take my dog out for me <laughs> so I don't have to in that frigid Antarctic temperatures? You know, she's a nice dog. I'll do anything. She for her. Uh, good guy right here. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. I do my best. Up next.